Shoulder. Welcome to Brew with a View. We've got Andre Hickson. He's the uh, chairman of the Waikawakapu Catchment Group. Kia ora, Andre. Cheers, Sam. Thanks for coming on board, Brew with a View. I would usually ask you a question, uh, coffee or tea, but at the moment we're on the 0% beers, been very uh, responsible with work since it's a professional production. A light on this side. Light on that side. <laughs> So, this is the Waikawakapu Catchment Group, eh? Yes. Um, firstly, how big is your catchment group? Uh, we're 35,000 hectares. We go from the Kaikokapu uh, in, the, in the west to the Pongakawa in the east. A mixed uh, group of land types um, from dairy, uh, kiwi fruit, um, avocados, uh, sheep and beef, um, mixed use um, lifestyle blocks up to forestry and native at the top of the catchment. How do you go about with such a diverse group of people bringing them together in a catchment group to sort of look after the land for our next generation? So the group was born out of a con a, the consultative process with Bay of Plenty Regional Council. During their plan changes they ran um, a a catchment discussion, I would say, involving a whole lot of sector groups, a whole lot of concerned people, and they educated us in the state of the catchment, basically, over three years. 2020, we started, uh, and just a group of 10 people. Uh, February, we really got going. Um, do you want to, we, anyone want to be involved, you stick your hand up. Who wants to be chair? And then we we had our, I think our first one of our first meetings here, and who wanted to be chair? And they all looked at me, and I became <laughs> chair, which is for my sins. Um, but the beauty of that we had a, out of that we had a diverse range of opinions, um, all the sectors involved. So we had dairy, kiwi fruit, some lifestyle blocks, some Maori, um, iwi. By having good people in the in the around the table, it was a stimulus to get shit done. And what was the things you wanted to get done? What was the end goal that you set up? Because there must have been a goal. And and what I notice about your website and 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 and, and your approach to land management is you're trying to bring the information in house, so that you as a catchment group hold the information, and you're able to make informed decisions for the entire catchment and all the landowners within that. So as farmers, we have to be science-led. Mm. So if the, the thing that annoys me most is if we spend money on something of some harebrained idea, not based on science, and it doesn't work. So let's understand the science of why things happen mm -hmm. and be science-led. But the challenge is what we've faced in this catchment is, is to change behavior from top of the catchment to the bottom try and involve as many people as we can. So we've been really fortunate that MPI from the very beginning helped us mm. get established. Everyone around the table brings a different skill set. Yeah, for sure. So, and you need the, you need the technical expertise mm. so that farmers have confidence that the right people are collecting the data. If you need science to change behavior, you have to be comfortable that that science is correct. Well, thanks, Andre. It's been a really insightful discussion uh, here in, in your catchment group, Waikokapu. It's amazing the diversity you guys have got in this catchment group and just really appreciate you sharing with, with us and your journey so far. Light beer? Zero percent. <laughs> <laughs>